Hey guys, so I'm here on my Wealth Simple portfolio. I'm just going to log in to show you what it looks like, and I'm going to be purchasing my first stock today. So now I'm logging in. Um, so you'll see I don't have any shares yet, and I have my account balance of $2,000. Um, over here, you'll see uh, stocks that are in my portfolio, but I haven't bought anything yet, so there's nothing in there yet. Uh, usually over here where there's a loading screen, this would show your overall portfolio performance. But it seems like it's lagging these days and doesn't show up for the one day. Uh, let's try three months. You can see I added in some money, but it's been pretty flat because I haven't done any investments yet. Um, so down here, this is my watch list. So here's a bunch of stocks that I've been um, looking at. Um, so some of them are like Dollarama, Facebook, Fortis, Canada Goose, Canaxis, Interpipeline, um, OpenText, Shopify, TD. So today I'm going to be purchasing some Interpipeline. Um, you can see over a one year period, there's been a bit of a dip and it's starting to recover. Uh, so Interpipeline, they are a uh, a mainstream oil and natural gas company which engages in the provision of oil transportation, natural gas liquid processing, and bulk liquid storage services. So I believe this one is a fairly stable dividend payer because they run a, a pipeline and once the pipeline is built there's very little maintenance that needs to be done um, compared to the amount of revenue that they get from it. You can see the current yield is about 7.84%. If you go into Yahoo Finance, it'll show they have a dividend payout ratio of 110 or 20%, which is basically they're paying out more than they actually earn. Um, but if you look deeper into the financial statements, they have their payout ratio as 60% um, under their non-GAAP income. Uh, so basically things that are not accounted for in the non-GAAP is things like amortization of their assets. Uh, so for example, their pipelines, they depreciate year over year. Um, so this isn't actually a cost that they're incurring um, as in money coming out of the bank, but it's just their asset depreciating in value. Um, and they use a general accounting standard to calculate, calculate this depreciation. Um, so I believe their payout ratio at 60% is still fairly healthy, uh, which is why I'm thinking I'll purchase a couple shares today um, and see where the stock goes over the future. Uh, so let's start the buy order. So I'm going to purchase about five shares to begin with, which is about $110 Canadian. Um, and that's basically my total cost. So this is just to confirm your order. Um, so let's hit confirm. Um, so this is the order screen uh, once you finally buy the share. It's pretty neat how they have this little um, parachute thingy. The graphics are pretty nice. Uh, you can see the details of... So it shows like the status is pending. Uh, it's a market buy so I just purchased that at the price. Um, which someone's selling it on the market, which is roughly around $21 before. So the order sent. Um, so it shows that one pending trade here. So it looks like the trade's been complete. So the fill quantity was five shares at a price of $22.05. Um, I submitted it at $3.17 and it was filled at $3.18. So fairly quickly. Uh, you can see I've also submitted a limit buy before for this um, REIT fund, SOT.UN, uh, but I cancel that. Here I'm going to show you how to do a limit buy. So we have this um, SOT. So this is a REIT fund and it pays a 12.23 dividend according to the Wealth Simple app. Um, but if you're up to date with what this company has done, they've actually slashed the dividend by about 50%. 
uh, so they only pay a 6% dividend. But the reason for that slash is because they're looking to take some of that cash that they would have paid out in dividends to invest in more real estate. Uh, so I think this is a, it's a wise move by management to do that, um, as they might see some good opportunities coming up in the Toronto market, uh, which is where their most of their properties are um, currently in their portfolio. So when you go into the buy order, you can select a limit buy. Uh, so the price, you can list what price you want to pay, the minimum price. So I'm going to set this at $6. Afterwards, you select how many shares you want to buy. Um, I'm going to purchase around 15 shares. And now you have an option to keep your order open until it's filled or until you cancel it. Um, up to a maximum of 90 days. So I'm going to select that. And we're sending the order. Uh, so the order is sent. And now we can see the order in the pending trades. So you can see a limit buy here. It was submitted at 344 today and it is pending and its expiry date is until I cancel it or until the 90 days is up. 